What is up guys? It's Flash back with some more charts in another video. Today is Saturday, December 28th, about 1.11 p.m. Eastern. Got another video for you guys today. Today we're gonna look at a couple different charts, mostly again around Bitcoin and MicroStrategy. And so what you see here on the screen is, um, I've been following this guy, David F. on X, at Trading Hearst. And so he presents some pretty interesting data around the way Bitcoin trades in, in waves. And so if you're not familiar with Hearst, um, the Hearst exponent here, I pulled this from Google, named after the British hydrologist Harold Edwin Hearst, is a statistical measure used to evaluate long-term memory of time series data. So what is the Hearst exponent in trading? It's a statistical measure which is used to study scaling properties in time series. The scaling property in time series refers to the patterns in financial asset prices which are repeated at different time scales and is studied in a number of past researches. So essentially, you know, I think my point here is Bitcoin is incredibly volatile, as you all know, and it's difficult to do technical analysis on it because of the nature of Bitcoin. You know, it's extremely volatile. And, you know, I often will think about the market makers and they want to shake people out of trades and they want to liquidate leverage positions and et cetera, et cetera. And so at the end of the day, you know, I'm just interested in what the, sh the chart is showing me. And so... You know, I'll put some lines on a chart to maybe see, okay, maybe there's a trend here, maybe there isn't, uh, but Bitcoin is going to trade the way Bitcoin is going to trade. And so oftentimes, you know, again, I'm not sure if there are market makers or not, but they want to shake people out or Bitcoin wants to shake people out. The market itself wants to shake people out. So I guess my point is we can look at other things other than lines and, and things on charts to help us help us see what's going on with the market. And so all that to say, um, I pulled this screenshot from, you know, David F. Great follow on on X. And so he's got this software that he's used to kind of find these exponents, these Hearst exponents, these these waves that Bitcoin trades in. And so on December 27th, he said, we're making further progress of the dominant periodic feature in Bitcoin's price action over the last six months or so. I cycle around 700 hours. And so let's zoom in on this screenshot. So essentially here, here's his, his software and, you know, um, got the Bitcoin price, looks like a moving average. And then underneath it, you know, you got the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows. And underneath it, you got this, you know, it's, it's highlighted. Here's like the strongest cycle over this time series, which is six months. And you can see if, if you zoom in, it's between 639 hours and 748 hours. So I think on average, it's about a 700 hour cycle. Um, so here he's highlighted kind of, you know, when it's when it's making a low, there's a green dot. And here's kind of the price action reflected in that. And then it goes up into a, a red high, if you will, and another highlighted red price action. So. I think it's super interesting to kind of follow how this is trading um, because it can tell us when to maybe be long or when to maybe be short or just what to potentially expect price to do rather than trying to do technical analysis when at the end of the day it's trying to shake you out. Um, but I think mostly this holds true. You know, Bitcoin has traded in waves. Okay. So here we are, Bitcoin on the 12 hour. We're going to pull up. The, those same waves that I, I kind of extrapolated that and um, put it on my chart. So if we zoom in here, you know, over the last six or so months, we can find, okay, the bottoms of these waves has dictated, okay, here's a bottom here, here's a bottom here, here's a bottom here, and there was a strong move up, right? And so, you know, not exactly, maybe there was a bottom here, but price did technically make a higher high. But what I'm trying to get at is we're nearing the next bottom of that Hearst exponent. And that is right around Sunday, the 5th of January at around 7 a.m. So I think we can expect price to at least go sideways and down until then. Um, you know, it's not perfect, right? Um, there could be some other Hearst exponent waves that, are, that start to kind of pop up. 
But for right now, over the last six months, this is the wave that Bitcoin is trading in, right? Okay, so that's step one. And so now I want to look at, we all know and love the Bitcoin rainbow wave, right? So my expectation is for Bitcoin to continue following the rainbow wave indicator. If you just want to go to indicators, type in Bitcoin rainbow, rainbow wave, this will pop up for you. And so this is expecting Bitcoin to make a strong move up into February of 2025 through May of 2025. That's kind of when I'm expecting Bitcoin to top out in its four year cycle. Now you can make the argument, yes, where the, the US might be establishing a Bitcoin treasury reserve. Um, you know, there's a lot of fundamental things that you can make an argument to say that the Bitcoin four year cycle could be over. You know, I'm not here to tell you that it isn't. I am just going to look and study the charts. What is price telling me? Um, and so I'm planning to take profit up here um, when Bitcoin, I think, will top out, you know, between 175,000 and 250,000 up in this red box, right? And then I will look to add again if price is telling me that, you know, in, in you know, in towards the probably the third point of 2026. Um, so that's that. And you can see my previous video outlining that approach. Um, okay, so let's go over to MicroStrategy. Now we're on the MicroStrategy chart. It's blank. <clears throat> and so what I'm gonna do again here is add Bitcoin to this chart. BTC USD, new price scale. We'll put it in the log. We'll shrink it down so that it relatively matches up. So as you can see, and again, I've, I've made this point before, MicroStrategy has a Bitcoin strategy, right? They acquire Bitcoin on their balance sheet, on their treasury, and they sell stock to buy more of it, right? So I think it's a pretty solid strategy. So let's just zoom in here. Again, we're on the 12 hour, and here's kind of what I want, what I want to point out to you. So this chart, this is Bitcoin, Here's the, its recent consolidation, right, since the middle of November. So let's put those lines on this chart again. This is the consolidation I'm talking about. Okay. And then we can do the same thing in MicroStrategy. Here's the consolidation that MicroStrategy is doing. So I think at the end of the day, this is just a consolidation, right? And I think we're nearing the next low for Bitcoin per the Hearst exponent. And we're going to be making an, another run up to that target in mid-February to mid-May of 2025. And so let's remove all the fundamentals about MicroStrategy, the MNAV, the, the ATM that Michael Saylor is doing. Like I want to remove that from my bias. I just want to focus on price. Whoop. Okay, so if Bitcoin's going to go pretty much to the moon, we'll call it, I think MicroStrategy is going to be doing something similar. Like it's going to continue tracking Bitcoin. And so I think it's going to go do something like that as Bitcoin does something like that, right? And so that's my point here is like this is just a consolidation. Yeah, it's been brutal price action. But again, it's shaking people out of the trade so that it can go higher, I think. Um, and so that brings us to MSTR denominated in BTC, MicroStrategy measured in Bitcoin, right? And this is from my previous video. So if MicroStrategy measured in Bitcoin can stay in this channel, you know, it's gonna, this can tell us as a mathematical equation what the price of MicroStrategy will be if Bitcoin is a certain price. Right, so today it's 0.0035, or when it closed yesterday, Friday the 27th, it closed at 0.0035. So that means when Bitcoin closed on Friday, you multiply that by 0.0035, that's what the price of MicroStrategy is gonna be. So let's forget about MNAV, let's forget about the fundamentals of it and just focus on this, on this chart. So when Bitcoin is 200K, if MicroStrategy is 0 0.0041 or 0 0.0066 of Bitcoin, you get a price of MicroStrategy that's either 820 or 1320, right? And that's just a mathematical equation. Um, sure, if, if, if 
MicroStrategy has, you know, the Bitcoin yield and, and the MNAV is maybe a, a two, two and a half or three. This chart will tell us that, you know, it'll reflect that. Um, and so whatever the price is trading at, I think we should, we should just trust this chart. I mean, this is a pretty good channel. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to stay in the channel, but, you know, say it goes down here. You know, we're looking at 0 0.0024 or 0 0.0025. Um, it's just an equation. That's all I'm trying to get at. So I guess this is just a follow up to my previous video. Um, if Bitcoin is going to follow the rainbow wave and goes up to this red box, um, you know, I think MicroStrategy will break out of this consolidation. And I think, you know, it's going to find itself between 820 and 1320, between mid-February and mid-May. mid, mid -May. So here's 820 to 1320. So generally speaking, if Bitcoin does this and goes to the red box, and if MicroStrategy measured in Bitcoin stays somewhere in this channel, it's going to give us a price target that's in this box. That's just a mathematical equation. It's just using charts. It's just using the ratio. Um, and I think this is a good way to, to measure where MicroStrategy is going. And then from there, if Bitcoin breaks out of the rainbow wave and continues its trek onto 500,000, you know, we're going to know that. But I'm not sure it's going to. And so I'm just here to kind of follow along. I'll present to you what I'm seeing and just give you my perspective. Um, but I think that's a pretty good price target. So, yep, just to follow up to my previous video, if this was helpful for you guys, drop me a like. I will see you guys in the next one.